In this video, we will go over the different settings here in the Options menu. For any form, you can decide if you would like to make the form persistent. And what that means is, once you've entered in information, the first visit with a patient for that form, then when you see the patient for fault visits, the information entered into those fields will automatically persist into subsequent visits for you. You're still able to edit the fields as needed in those subsequent visits. You can see as soon as I open this clinical note that there's already information filled out here in the MedFam social history section of my h &P workflow. This was all filled out in the initial visit with the patient, and I generally recommend making your MedFam social history section persistent since most of this information does not change very much over time. This also allows you to quickly access this information and refer to it when in the middle of a clinical note with the patient without having to look at past clinical notes or dig around in the patient chart. If I make any changes to the persistent form, this will automatically switch on and include this information in today's clinical note. Otherwise, by default, if you don't make any changes, this will be switched off, but you can always toggle it on if you do want to include this information in today's note. If you set a form as your default, this will be the one form that your clinical note automatically opens to when you start a clinical note. For instance, if you would like to automatically go to this new patient assessment form, set this as your default form. You can also rename the form, or you can simply click the pencil icon to the right of the form name, and click the green checkbox to save. You can duplicate the form, which will allow you to make edits while saving a copy of this current form. Set as workflow form allows you to replace this form with the content currently existing in one of the preset forms. For instance, maybe we want to swap out the content within one of these h &P sections. By clicking set as workflow form, it'll simply swap out the content and it will still keep the content in the h &P section as a form in the additional section. Clear form will remove all of the fields within this form an archive will simply remove this as an active form in your form builder. You can always access past archive forms by going to clinical archive. 